Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a fabulous day. Today's video is the annual Pantone Color of the Year video that I do every year. I've been doing this since maybe 2014 and it all started because the Pantone Color of the Year usually would participate with Sephora or Butter London and then create an entire cosmetic line or nail polish line based off of that color. So I started doing it with the drugstore version of makeup products you could try if you didn't want to spend money on the high-end Sephora products. So it's just been an annual thing that has continued and I know many people look forward to this. If you have not heard, the color for 2022 is very peri. It's a really gorgeous cool toned purple. I was so excited about it. I had so many people messaging me on this when the news broke and I was like, ah! <laughs> I have some really amazing makeup finds to share with you in this video. But first I wanted to shout out to HelloFresh. We love HelloFresh. We have been using them in a variety of different meal plans we have incorporated into our family life. It's really helped my husband and I stay on track. I love the recipes because they're easy to follow. My husband has even attempted to make a few meals on his own and done really good, by the way, I must say. But I can't tell you how helpful that has been. But we love them also because they are affordable and fresh. The ingredients are fresh. You don't have to go out and do a lot of grocery shopping. Everything is delivered straight to your door. And what I love the most about HelloFresh is that I get to try new recipes that I would not pick on my own. And just as an example, one recipe that we had recently in our HelloFresh box was a turkey chili. And I'm not a chili person. It's not really something that I would gravitate to on my own because it's usually too spicy or I just don't like it for the spice factor. But what I liked about the HelloFresh recipe was that I could adjust the level of spice in it and I didn't add as much spice as what they called to. And I really liked it. It was pretty doggone tasty. So if you're looking for some new recipes to try or maybe you want to step outside your comfort zone and do something a little different or you want to take off the excess weight from the holidays because... I'm right there with you. <laughs> you have to try HelloFresh. I guarantee you would love them. Right now, you can go to HelloFresh.com. Use my code Zabrina16. You'll get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So again, use my code Zabrina16 for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts, and you will not regret it. All right, let's hop right on into the makeup. And because this is such a strong color, I don't really have many face products to share with you today, so we're talking mainly about eyes, lips, yes, surprisingly lips, and nails. First one I want to mention to you is the Violets by Juvia's Eyeshadow Palette. This is the look that I'm wearing in today's video. If you've been curious about how to get it, this is how you do it in this little mini tutorial I'm showing you. Six cooler toned purples within this palette, excellent quality. It's not drugstore priced, but it is a more affordable palette. And the pan sizes are very generous. You get a lot for your money and the pigment is off the wall insanely good. It's still one of my favorite purple palettes because it is cooler toned and because the quality is so outstanding. And it's wonderful cre for creating so many purple looks. It's just amazing how many you can create with just those six colors. Another palette I have to recommend to you is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Acai U. This was not my most favorite eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. And I think I mentioned that when I first reviewed these Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes but it does give you colors very similar to the Very Perry color for 2022. So if you wanted to participate in this trend at a very affordable price, $3 for this little eyeshadow palette, it's a great way to do it. From NYX Cosmetics, they have a jumbo eye pencil in the shade Donut, which is the perfect color for Very Perry for 2022. Excellent quality with these pencils. They are extremely pigmented. You can use them a number of different ways. I applied it onto my waterline for today's look, and it really brings everything together so beautifully, but you can also apply these all over your lid and apply eyeshadows on top of them to give them more uh, what's the word? More pigment. You can make them stronger. You can mute them. You can apply this one underneath like gray eyeshadows too, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Or you can wear it all by, yourself, by itself. It's really up to you, but I love these because they are so versatile and you can do so many different things with them. Surprisingly, I found two shades of lipstick that are perfect for this year's color of the year. They weren't really my favorites on me, but on the right person. Oh my gosh, these could look so amazing. First one I have to share with you is from CoverGirl. This is one of their demi matte 
lipsticks in the shade Bestie Boo. And I mean, that is the perfect color, isn't it? It's like, whoa, too perfect. Great quality, very creamy on application, an excellent choice if you wanna participate in this year's trend with a lipstick. The other one that I found that is not a perfect match to the Very Perry color, it does have a little bit more red base to it, which I feel like makes it a tad bit more wearable as opposed to the last one I just showed you, is from Rimmel, and this is the one called Sugar Sugar. And you can see what I mean there. It does have that cool toned purple look to it, but there are some red hints in it that do make it a little bit more wearable. Funny enough, I scoured the nail polish sections in the stores for this color. And I thought that, ooh, fighter jets going over the house. We live near an Air Force base. Anyway, I thought that finding this shade in nail polish would be really easy. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna find at least five or six of them. No, it was so hard to find this particular blue-toned purple in nail polish, but I was able to find two. The first one is from Paparazzi, and this is the shade called Lilac. You can find this brand in CVS stores if you are curious. The other one I found was from Sally Hansen, and this is part of the Miracle Gel line. And the shade that I found is called Cloud Pout. And this is a rather unique concept when it comes to nail polish. You have to buy the top coat to go with it or the nail polish will not dry. <laughs> the lady at the counter informed me of this because I only had the cloud pout nail polish and she says you're gonna need the top coat otherwise it's not gonna dry and I thought oh well good to know so if you do happen to pick this shade up look for the top coat that is with it in the section apply that over the top and it dries instantly I picked the matte top coat which I really really like but they also have a shiny gloss one too that you can put over the top and the best part is with that stuff it helps to keep the nail polish on your nails I've had this on for about three days now and it has not chipped it has stayed put and for somebody who washes their hands as much as I do with changing so many poop diapers <laughs> whoo that's pretty amazing washing dishes cooking, everything. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty doggone amazing. And if you're curious about how I completed the eyes for the look that I'm wearing here today, I also applied the AOA Studio Artista Deep Purple Eyeliner. You can get this on Shop Miss A's website. I think it's a dollar. It's an excellent eyeliner, it really is. And I also applied lashes from my lash line. These are in the style Positivity and I will have those listed and linked for you below as well. So I am so sorry this video is so short and there's so few products. It's This is such a hard color to find in drugstore makeup. I mean, purples in general are pretty hard to find, but blue-based purples, next to near impossible. So if you have one to add for the color of the year, feel free to share yours below as well. We'd love to hear your makeup recommendations for participating in this color trend. And I wanted to mention also, if you are curious about products I'm using in my hair right now, because it is different, it's looking better, I'm really, really, really happy with what I'm using, I will have those listed for you below in the description box of each video. In the event that you wanna know what I'm using, I'll, I'll put them in the order I'm using them to and share a little bit of insight into that. But I do credit Curl Maven with helping me get my hair back on track. So yes, big shout out to her. If you wanna visit her blog and get more in info and learn all about curly hair, it's a great resource. But anyway, had to share that. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I will see you again next week. Have a beautifully blessed weekend ahead.